Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Sometimes soon I'll make you mine. Jimmy. Coming in? No. When I get off to work, there'll be lots of paperwork to do. It was only a matter of time. If he hadn't have escaped, you'd have got the warrant and you'd have found him. Yeah, but in what state? He's lucky to be alive. I'm gonna get off. Right. I'll see you later for tea. I'll get some chops or something. OK. Is he all right? We'll know soon enough. Lily's with him now. He was there all over Christmas. It's mad. I mean, it really does beg a belief to think of him locked up in that house. Why didn't you say something? What? Well, do you think it was a bit strange that he was missing all this time? No more than anyone else. Well, you live with him. You should have known something was wrong. Excuse me for not consulting my crystal ball. How was I supposed to know two nutters were holding him hostage? Well, maybe if you weren't so preoccupied with yourself. Hang on a minute. You're supposed to be his friend too, right? Why didn't you say something? If you want to shine the light on someone, shine it on yourself. Hey, come on. It's not helping anybody. Karen's right. It's nobody's fault. Maybe if we'd all paid a bit more attention. However, one doesn't have to question his judgment in all this. Because if you are going to get tied up by a woman, you want to make damn well sure she's going to be fun. Total and utter idiot. Still in a state of shock. The diazepam they gave him is working its way through his system, and until it does, he's going to be pretty out of it. Have you spoken to his sister? Yeah, she's on her way. How'd she take it? She was shocked. I didn't go into too much detail. I mean, how'd you explain something like this? Oh, barely scratched the surface. And what about them? The police have got them, have they? They're in custody and being assessed as we speak. Forensics are at the house, but really, they're not my main concern. Thank heaven for small mercies, but the physical damage appears to be minimal. Obviously, all scarring isn't physical. Morning. I'm sorry, I usually see Dr. Clay. Indisposed, I'm afraid. How can I help you? I'm Dr. Bradfield. Um, I can't cry. I want to cry, but I can't. And it's starting to wear me down. You can't cry. Well, as far as I'm concerned, one less emotional woman in the world is something to be applauded rather than concerned about. You think this is a joke? Do you know what it feels like to want to cry and not be able to? No. But... Maybe I should see another doctor. My mother just died of cancer. I think if anything was going to make me cry, that would have been it, don't you? Uh... Please, sit down. Jimmy. Jimmy, hey. Hello. It's 
Julia. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy, what's the last thing you remember? Oh, grief affects everyone differently. No, it's more than that. This started before my mother, and it, it's affecting everything. My skin, my joints. I feel tired and achy all over. I find it difficult to swallow. Stress-induced. It's amazing how things affect the body. I, I know you want to hear a genuine medical reason why you can't cry, but stress is a manifestation of grief, and perfectly confident that everything you're experiencing is a result of having lost your mother. Got anyone you talk to? Hmm? Family member, boyfriend, somebody with big shoulders to cry on? My experience is there's nothing that a bottle of wine, a good old chin wag won't sort out. Now, I don't want to be unsympathetic, but I do have... It's okay. Hmm? Thanks. Oh. I don't want to push you before you're ready, but at some point, we're going to have to talk about what happened to you. You know that, don't you? Sissy and Iva, are you able to talk about them yet? Lily. Lily. Is this necessary? I know he's going to have to tell the police all the details at some point, but he's only just got out of there. He's not ready to talk about it. Julia, Jimmy is suffering after a lengthy ordeal. The only way we can help him is if he does talk about what happened. You do know what happened with him and his father when he was a little boy? Yeah, which is why, in my opinion, it's better to deal with this sooner rather than later. <sighs> well, I guess you know what you're doing. Um, I'm going to go and call the mill, tell everybody what's happening. Jimmy? The Mill Health Centre. Julia, how is he? You know, well, as can be expected, I suppose, for someone who's been tied up, practically starved to death and left for dead. Well, I was thinking I might come and see him later. Actually, Michelle, that's not really a good idea right now. I mean, you know, after everything he's just been through, I don't think he needs a lot of people around right now. OK, well, um... No, my police force gave me the heads up. We're in custody. I'm at the hospital now. <laughs> no, I'll hit the deadline. Tell him we send our love. Yeah, we all um, send our love and and tell him we hope he get. Michelle, I gotta go. What's this? How should I know? Yeah, no, wait. Can't we just what? Can't we just what? We need to talk about Mum's funeral. It's all sorted. You needn't worry yourself about anything. Did Josh call you? You told Josh about Mum? I thought you ought to know. I'm glad you could provide each other with a shoulder to cry on. I only phoned him because I knew you wouldn't. I did it for you. I suppose that's why you slept with him, too. I've said I was sorry. How many more times? What, Leanna, like you've never made any mistakes? You know what, Gemma? Why don't you save it for someone who cares? <laughs> it's not my fault that you can't keep a man. If you lose them, it's because no one wants to be with a miserable, stuck up, unfeeling cow like you. I know this is hard, but we need to talk about this. I'm here as a friend as much as anything else. The answer is no, you are not going in there, okay? Why don't we take a break? I'm just going to pop out for a few minutes. Perhaps we can try again when I get back. Holly Harper, Leather Bridge Gazette. I was hoping to speak to Dr. Clay. And you are? Dr. Hassan. I'm sorry, he's in no fit state to talk to anyone. Well, when will I be able to speak to him? Well, that's difficult to determine at this point. Fine. Cheek. Last thing Jimmy needs is any more press. He's being the public eye that got him into this mess in the first place. I don't know about you, I could do with something to drink. 
Well, there won't be anything stronger than coffee around here, but let's just go make sure she actually leaves. Karen's minding the fort. Now, I called this meeting to discuss the events surrounding Jimmy. Now, I know that some of you are feeling this more than others, but in my experience, I think it's important to talk about it rather than let it fester. Couldn't this have waited till later? No, it couldn't. We need to deal with it. Now, um, would anyone like to say something? Daniel's right. I've been a rubbish friend. I should have been there for him. Daniel? All this so-called getting in touch with one's emotions is just so, so unhelpful. Perhaps if the women require it. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me? If the women require what? Fairer sex, also known as the weaker sex. Charlie, I really thought we were beyond this kind of attitude. I'm more in favour of letting, letting it cry out. Oh, this morning I had a patient couldn't cry, determined to have a medical reason for her condition. She's an old bunker. She just lost her mother to cancer. What were her symptoms? Well, um, dry eyes, dry throat, croaky voice, a um, few aches and that, you know. All stress-related. If I had a penny for every bizarre, non-medically related problem that came through my door... Well, I hope for your sake that it isn't Sjögren's syndrome. It's a disease that affects the immune system. It's associated with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. There's no knowing what the long-term psychological impact is. He's coming to find you. Have you seen Jimmy? Isn't he in his room? No. Okay, well, he can't have gone far. I'll check with the nurse. I'll come with you. 